Alright, let's continue this way. And try not to be too distracted. It's not possible just now. It's not possible just now. What? It's not possible just now. Oh, maybe I don't have the ingredients. If you come to do business, you should go upstairs. I am but a poor underling. Very well, then. Hello, sir. Is this the house of the man called Farad? It is I. What can I do for you? We're searching for Mr. Darcy. He was supposed to come here to do business. Yes. Yes, he did come here, but I don't know where he is. <sighs> to be honest, our exchange did not exactly go as planned. And if you are his associate or a member of his family, know that you owe me a large sum of money. How so? Well, this Darcy fellow came here to take the shipment, and he was supposed to deliver me a promissory note. Which never arrived, I imagine. How could you let him leave with your merchandise without payment? Well, he's the son of a very well-known family. I did not deem it necessary to try and obtain more guarantees. What if something happened to him? Nothing happened. At least I don't think so. And why should that concern me? I'm not his brother. He owes me money, and I do not have the slightest idea of where he might be. I suspect that you're not telling us everything. Oh, uh, come on. If you have not come to repay his debt, leave me alone so I can work in peace. I already told you that I do not know where this man is. Leave me alone. I want you to sell me some stuff. Hey. Greetings. If you have come to do business, head upstairs, if there's any business left to do. Why do you say that? They haven't been paying me, and I've had to work with cheap ingredients for weeks. What do you do here, exactly? I create and prepare complex potions. Not simple health potions, but far more subtle things. And if I'm not mistaken, things are not going the way you would want them to. The boss has always been difficult. But ever since he got ripped off, it has been a living hell. I work using leftovers thrown away by all the other alchemists, while listening to him screaming at me and everyone else all day. This is no way to live. Have you heard of a man called Bastian Darcy? <sighs> it would be difficult not to. His name is the only thing my boss talks about. Apparently, he did not pay for one of our shipments and still left with the goods. And now my boss makes me work twice as much to compensate for his losses. With ingredients I wouldn't even feed to a pig. And what did your boss do? Well, he spent every waking hour cursing his name. That's how I learned about it. How can a brilliant, conscientious alchemist keep working here? I am certain that any great laboratory in town would welcome you with open arms. So why continue protecting your employer? Oh, you're right. Anywhere is better than here. My boss did not only curse the name of the man you're looking for, he also hired some thugs to find him and our shipment. Interesting. I think we may need to have a few words with your employer. If you could also tell him that I am resigning, then I won't need to go upstairs. You again. I already told you that I do not know where the man you're searching for is. You may not know where he is, but you did everything you could to find him, didn't you? What do you mean? Does this document ring a bell? You hired some debt collectors to find Mr. Darcy. How dare you rummage through my belongings? You could have taken legal action and retrieved what you were owed, but you sent some killers instead. 
I doubt the governor would approve. Do you want us to tell him about it? No. But please, understand me. The Darcy family is on the continent. It would take months for them to reply to my complaint. What other solution was there? My shop will not survive this. Tell us who these debt collectors are and we'll take care of it. They loiter in an alleyway of ill repute, not far from here, in the science district. That's what I feared. Probably a bunch of cutthroats. If Bastion survives... If he survives, remind him of what he owes me. Very well, sir. We will do just that. I don't see any uh, little sparklies down. hoping to find someone here that could sell me alchemical ingredients. You know, because potions. Have mercy! Have mercy! I will repay everything, I swear. This is nothing but a horrible misunderstanding. My family is very rich. They will give you everything you want. Please. Hey, you! Leave this man alone! What do you want? No one asked you for your opinion, so get lost! Maybe he's friends with the weakling. Maybe. In any case, it seems like he wants to share his fate. You think I'm afraid? I've fought uglier people than you. Vasco, let me try to take care of this. How much money are we talking about? You're here to collect a debt, right? Between what he owes our client and our commission, it's a hefty sum. But if you want to pay any stead, my lord, please do. Ah! You're crazy. I don't think you realize who you are dealing with, so let me introduce myself. My name is Desardé. I am the legate of the congregation, and I am here to save the life of one of our citizens. If you do not deliver him to me immediately, I will have no choice but to inform the governor. And you'll end up rotting in jail in no time. <laughs> what a bunch of jokers. I haven't heard that one before. Yeah. Should we show them that we're not here to joke around? A bit of poison on my blade. Then let's go! Close to his richness, theory. Let's see if you can ward off this faint. I need healing. I need help. Right, come over here. Close to his richness, dearie. Thank you for your intervention. I thought these brutes would kill me. Don't mention it. It's only natural. But how did you end up in such a situation? Oh, I'm certain someone like you, who belongs to high society, will understand. There is a game table here that is attended by the best of the aristocracy. I lost the money I owed to that merchant while playing there. And since I got out with a few other debts, I had to leave the merchandise as repayment as well. But that's a mere trifle that my father would have paid for without thinking twice. I never would have thought that someone would send these types of brutes after me. What a lack of tact. In any case, I am extremely grateful to you. To whom do I have the honor of speaking? My name is Captain Vasco. Nought and sea given. It was a pleasure, sir. Uh, what happened to the quest? Um, 
Um, all right. I'm gonna pay 200 for that guy. Get out of here. I'm a little confused. It seems like that quest bugged out on me mid conversation. Sarday, can I do anything for you? I must leave you. Try that again. People are back. You'll find the quintet. Greetings. I immediately spotted that you are a real science enthusiast. I have all the potions you could ever dream of, and other things too. We also sell ingredients, and we even craft on demand. So, what would you like? Forty-three. Can't craft them myself. Ingredients are not too difficult. Oh, look at that. More sleeping potions. Alchemist. Ooh. Are they all wearing those glasses? I don't know. Maybe, uh... I don't know, actually. There's, uh... That faction. Gunner's cape. Plus one charisma. Buy one of them. I want to buy this alchemist thing. This would allow me to do some stuffs. Five weight. Do it. Let's do it. All rifle. I was honored by your visit. Please come back. Greetings. Uh. Need pine resin and dragon blood resin. Oh, this is interesting. I was honored by your visit. Greetings. I was oh. greetings. What?
Oh my gosh, the price. You know what, dog? I can craft them myself. I was honored by your visit. Also, Please why am I wearing whenever you want. this? Hey, you! Leave this man alone! What do you want? No one asked you for your opinion, so get lost! Maybe he's friends with the weakling. Maybe. In any case, it seems like it. You think I'm a f How much? Between Bet if you. I don't think you realize who you were dealing with, so let me introduce myself. My name is Desarde. I am the legate of the congregation. If you do. And you'll end up rotting in jail in no time. Damn it, they look serious. Yes, a bit too much. Listen, we don't want to get in trouble with the governor, so take him! Yeah, if our client wants to get repaid, he'll have to make an official request. Come. Thank you for your intervention. I thought these brutes would kill me. Don't mention it. It's only natural. But how did you end up in such a situation? Oh, I'm certain someone like you, who belongs to high society, will understand. There is a game table here that is attended by the best of the aristocracy. I lost the money I owed to that merchant while playing there. And since I got out with a few other debts, I had to leave the merchandise as repayment as well. But that's a mere trifle that my father would have paid for without thinking twice. I never would have thought that someone would send these types of brutes after me. What a lack of tact. In any case, I am extremely grateful to you. To whom do I have the honor of speaking? My name is... Captain Vasco. Nought and sea given. It was a pleasure, sir. I'm so confused. Okay. We're going to try it one more time. And this time, we're going to repay the debt. We're going to see what happens. It just feels like it's kicking me out of the conversation, mid-conversation. I don't quite understand. Have mercy. Have mercy. Hey, you! What are you? Ma Ma you Val the twin. Here, take this and leave. Thank you, my lord. It was a pleasure doing business with you. Come on, we'll leave you with your weakling. I hope I never cross paths with you again. Thank you for your intervention. I thought these br Don't mention it. But how do Oh, I'm certain someone like you who There is a game to And since I got But that's a mere trifle that I never would have thought that In any case, I My name is Captain Vasco. Nought and sea given. It was a pleasure, sir. What is a brother supposed to do? So abrupt. Thank you, Desade. My pleasure. But why didn't you tell him who you were? But I did tell him. I was stupid. I resented everyone, and you even more, for the life I didn't get to live. You had it all, everything I thought I was entitled to. But after seeing Bastion, I realized that in the end, I was exactly who I wanted to be. A naught, and a proud one at that. I'm glad to hear it. No more regrets? 
No more regrets. And I certainly don't regret not being called Leandra Darcy. <laughs> Honestly, I don't even know. I really don't even know. Whatever. Level up. Alright. Allows the recovery of ingredients near the location of explosion of that trap and file throw. Heck. Yeah. Very useful to turn the tide of a melee fight. Battle burst. Alrighty. This is where things... Oh, we got that level one of intuition now. Nice, nice. Okay, this is going to be the, the tough spot. I have yet to come across enemy traps. No regrets? I don't know about all that now. I, I should reload and get my 200 back and just kill those suckers. No, oh, whatever. Whatever. Okay, so Charisma is... Why are there so many good things here? I don't get another point until 13. I don't know what I want to do here. I, I, think, I think I have to go Science Level 2. I think I have to. Although, I did pick up those robes that give me access to science level 2. Maybe I should check that type of interaction is confirmed possible. At the fire also, I'll... So, okay, so you're friendly, but it doesn't show, like, uh, that kind of stuff that I was looking for. Um, you, let's see, oh, you can't use capes, ah, capes are only for me, now I know. Stop barking, dogs. Crafting table. Uh, here. All right. So this does have this. So technically, I don't need science level two right now. And science level three doesn't seem that crazy. Although, with science level two unlocked, it seems like the ingredients are still the same. But what do I know? Well, I feel like I go lock picking here. Well, lock picking or charisma. Vigor is interesting, but not crazy interested in that. You've seen one intuition 
thing pop up. And that was it. Choice is so difficult. Choice is so difficult. We're going lock picking. Going lock picking. Right. Um. That one. Okay, well, uh, we did that quest, and that was... Let's just say that was a quest. Governor's Research Laboratory. Investigate this research laboratory. This is an inspection. I'm the the Desardes. Is I was like, is anybody here? This game does not seem like a go discover new place and see new and interesting things out of order type of game. Could not uncover the governor's vile experiments there. Go and meet this governor without me. We are at war. I'm not certain that I can remain calm if I see such a man. We rarely bow down on our ships. I hope I will not embarrass you. Uh, I mean, I don't mind. Maybe I should bring homeboy slice. Eh, yeah, nah. We'll be fine. Hello, Gobna. Your Excellence, it is an honor to meet you. Allow me to present my sincerest regards in the name of the Congregation of Merchants. And allow me to wish you and your cousin a warm welcome to the island in the hopes that this visit will help prolong the profitable relations between our two nations. Likewise. Nevertheless, another question brings me. The Malachor. The Prince d'Orsay hopes that these new shores will bring us new possibilities. Even a remedy. It is an area that concerns us greatly, but be assured we are studying it acutely. 
Our doctors and alchemists are particularly interested in the flora of the Isle. It's extremely varied and different from our own. In fact, we have sent a group of explorers into a very promising sector. Alas, we've had no news from them for quite some time now. We are hoping that nothing has happened. We would have sent a patrol to investigate, but we cruelly lack the means to do so. The natives have proven aggressive, even hostile to our studies, and have attacked us regularly. You ask the question why? You steal our lands, gouging the earth in sacred places. And now our people are disappearing. It's enough to drive one to unsheath a blade, do you not agree? Didn't she say she was going to wait outside? Uh, I mean, I'm, I'm, with, I'm with her on this one, you know, like, y'all gotta show some respect. She is not wrong, Your Excellence. The acts of your own people have brought this aggression down upon you. I should have guessed that those birthmarks you share would make you sympathetic to their cause. I was hoping diplomacy would prevail. I have overestimated your skills in the matter. As I was saying, we are obligated to maintain all of our able-bodied men here in order to protect the city. But we would be happy to share with you the results of our research if... Your Excellency. This insolent interruption is untimely and unwelcome. I deeply regret, Excellency, but one of our frontier posts has just suffered a brutal attack. Report then and be precise. The natives attacked us by surprise. Our men were massacred. Our frontier post is lost. One more act of barbary. Dismissed, soldier. Where was I? Yes. We would be most pleased to share our discoveries with our allies if your cousin would send us a party to help us find our lost expedition. I could show you to which region they were sent. I thank you for the information and will let him know. If you are of a mind to accord me another request, I would be truly grateful. I'm listening. As you have not failed to observe, our troops as well as our caravans have been suffering incessant attacks. The merchants, including your own, are raided, often killed, and certain goods have become scarce. Captain Rainhild, who commands our outpost in the plains, has communicated his incapacity to protect them. Considering that certain of your own fellow countrymen are involved... You would like me to lend a hand? I will see what I can do, Your Excellency. Would you like to speak with me about any other subjects? Wasn't Rainhild a, a woman? And what of this conflict with Teleme on Tirfredi? Officially, we are at war, but we have never waged war openly here. Of course, we did not rejoice when they set up camp on the Isle, and we expected the worst. But it seems that their only concern is to convert the natives into believing their ridiculous teachings. They represent no true danger to us. At least, not for the time being. And to be frank, we have plenty of other concerns that demand our attention. I have to go. Look forward to seeing you again. Farewell, my lord. Lord. Badly that damage our... Oh, no, oh, suspicious. Imagine sitting on a chair all day doing nothing but waiting for maybe someone to come in and talk to you. No, you unknowingly just described a lot of my day. Granted, I don't wait for people to come talk to me, but I do sit on my chair all day doing nothing. When it, when I do sit on my chair, no, I don't sit on my chair all the time. You know, I got the standing desk. The backrest on my chair is broken off. Really a tragedy. See, this room is just as messy as um, Homeboy Slices. Guessing this goes to the servant quarters. Did in the other castle.
I am doing things. You know, many a parent, uh, many a parent in ye younger years would describe playing video games as doing nothing and poisoning your mind. You know? Okay, so yeah, I'm pretty sure Captain Rainhild was a woman. Like I, I spoke to her once, and you know, maybe, maybe I'm wrong. You know, it's kind of hard to tell. Just got that impression. I mean, no disrespect. Is this supposed to be like a fountain or something? I wanted to unlock more of these prosecutors off it. Interesting. Also, it was kind of kind of disappointing that I lost a reputation just for Come closer. Come closer. Oh. keeping it real. Of progress. Your Excellency, welcome. I am on. You will not and always. Guys, always have something to say. Ooh, accuracy three on that bad boy. Holy cow, the price is actually not that insane. I mean, I know I've been poor this entire game, but when when you could just compare it to some of this stuff, this is kind of crazy. Where's your purple weapons? I think I might go in the two-handed sword category. I think I might save up some points for that. I want I want to swing the big sword. This is a minor upgrade. Yeah. Yikes. Oh, that's the, the full thing. But if I were to purchase. There we go. Ooh, uh, 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 uh. Sovereign potion against burns. Sure, we'll need that someday. Thanks for your visit. Or what? I have no idea. We need a, we need like a horse or something. Um, I admit it is going to be kind of annoying to do this whenever we want to craft something, but it is necessary. I need pine resin for those as well. 
as well as those. Okay. So don't go don't get too crazy with the pine resin. Although the explosion ones are the ones that I value the most. Yeah, I, I feel like that's a woman. Hello, Captain. Your Excellency, what can I do for you? And I feel like it has a woman voice, too. So why did that guy call her a him? Governor Burren has asked me to help you fight against the caravan attacks. Could you tell me precisely what's going on? For weeks, we have been harassed by the savages. They're waiting for groups of soldiers or caravans to be out of sight of the outpost and attack with incredible violence. They don't just steal goods or equipment. They kill without mercy. Only one man survived their last attack. He's here in a sorry state. Do you think he could answer a few questions? Yes, but take it easy on him. I'll make sure I do, Captain. I need to get rid of this alchemist thing. That's going to be the tough part to remember. Yeah, I think they just goofed, is all. Hello there. My name is Desarde. I'm the legate of the congregation. I was informed that your caravan was looted and that you were the sole survivor of the attack. It's true, Your Excellency. It was awful. All those deaths. The violence. We followed the recommended precautions to the letter, but it was useless. How did the attack happen? We traveled all day. We were exhausted, and night was approaching. We knew we were not very far from the outpost, but we couldn't go any further. So we camped away from the road, trying to stay out of sight. Alas, it was in vain. That's when they struck, in the middle of the night. Were there several attackers? I counted five, maybe six, but others were hiding in the woods. I'm sure of it. If they only had their usual stone weapons, we may have hoped to escape them, but their weapons were inflamed. I have never been so scared in my life. What were you transporting? Mostly food, but also herbs and other ingredients for scientists. Did the attackers take it? Everything was a blur. I don't know if they intended to steal or destroy it. Unfortunately, my companions died while trying to protect our cargo. Are you saying that the looters started by attacking your cargo? Yes, Your Excellency. Maybe more of us would have survived if we'd all fled. You mentioned recommended precautions. Yes. Since attacks occur often, we were given a number of precautions to avoid them. Do not travel at certain times. Do not camp near the road. Do not light any fires. All of it was useless. It would have been better to recruit guards to escort us. Hmm. Based on what you're saying, the attacks were very targeted. They must have a camp near the outpost to monitor the road. But what is their goal? Why attack all the caravans along this route? They must want to cut off the supply lines to Hikmet. We'll go to the scene of the attack. I might find something there to help track these rebels. The Rebellion. Where are we headed? Okay, all right. Headed to a place I have not been to before. Ah, that's the intuition. Right there. Oh my goodness. The caravan was some distance from the road when it was attacked.
my first those and it's accuracy one Dude. that I wanted to save up for Ooh, this only costs one we might we might do that we might do that the number of hits benefiting from the effects uh, weapons that are anointed with poison my stronger dose curious I wish I could see what's required of bombs Here we are. Stay alert. Alert, I am. The food has been destroyed. They clearly don't need it, which means that their camp should be close by. They must have died protecting their goods. How sad. These wounds appear to be caused by stone blades. The kind of weapons that islanders use. The crates are empty. Their entire contents have been destroyed. These goods were not meant to reach their destination. They acted quickly, methodically, and then left. But where are the bodies? Let's look around. Well, now that I'm thinking about it, maybe I should just drop lock picking. Use that uh, memory stone thing and redo my talents. Hello, friend. Then let's go. Oh, there are three of you. Okay, I was trying to drop a trap right there, but I was either pressing the wrong button or just getting hit around. But I was not dropping my trap. Bit of poison on my plate. And let's go! Let's see if you can ward off this fight. Let's see if you can ward off this fight. Your armor will no longer protect you. Okay. Be careful, you're wounded. You're keeping me stun locked, and then I wasn't able to do anything, and then I tried to pull out the potion. Potion takes some time, and then you charge me. A bit of poison on my blade. Then let's go! Yeah. Get over here. Oh my gosh. At this point.
Okay, that was a yikes. Definitely quick saving after that. Those guys were not there before. Uh, music or whatever. See how the leashing thing Why is going to be. Why was this man's body arranged like that? There's something in his pocket. And see what's in his pocket, huh? Uh, some eyesight you got there. My dear, I'm afraid this trip will be my last. We were very cautious. We even ate cold food every night because lighting a fire was too dangerous. And yet, I feel as if we are being observed, and I'm afraid they might attack us from one moment to... He was in the caravan, but whoever attacked him decided to drag him here and feed him to the wild beasts. The Donea Egdragal do this as a sort of scare tactic. This is a message for other merchants. Hmm. Oh, there's some people over there. Is that guy on fire? Seems we might be out of our league. We're going to be fighting dudes that are on fire. Okay. Like his weapon is on fire and it's making him glow. Pressing the one button to drop. Trap. Not bad. A patrol. We're close to the target. Why did they attack me on sight, though? The real question. Oh. Bats or something. Oh, 
my plane. Then let's go! Okay. These guys are not very nice. Talking about no bars either. I'm curious, how much HP do I have? 800. Interesting. Hey, we're nice with the Congregation of Merchant and the Coin Guard. This obstacle was deliberately placed here. I think we're on the right track. Their camp must be nearby. We must find a way to pass. Why did it just, like, explode? We come in peace. Unlock. Get him. <laughs> oh my gosh. If I equip that, will they stop attacking me? Sure is interesting how powerful that little kick can be. Expecting like a treasure chest or something, but I guess it's just another way to go. Here's the camp of the rebel natives. The standing men called themselves Donaya Exregal. Please, let's try and talk to them. I do not want to fight with my brothers without trying to reason with them first. Don't worry, I come in peace. I only wish to speak to your leader. I am the leader of this camp, Renaixe. And who might you be? My name is the Sade. I'm the legate of the merchant congregation. The congregation? Are those the Lugayid Blau? The yellow eyes? It's possible, yes. We live in the city south of the island. 
That's right. We hold no grudge against your people. Talk. I'm listening. I've come to speak to you about your attacks against all those who take the road to Hikmet. The Lions only got what they deserve. They have captured many of our people. We must release them. That's the price of war. If you fight, you risk men being taken prisoner. I'm not talking about warriors, Renaikse, but villagers kidnapped in our villages. They mainly attack on all Menawi. Those carrying the mark of the bond like you. They capture them, and we never see them again. We don't know what they are doing to them, but we are going to release them. I see. But our merchants have no role in this. They are not warriors. So why kill them? They brought food and weapons back to our enemies. We could not let them pass. If your merchants had fled, we would not have pursued them. But they resisted. So they do it. The city of Loyans is no longer to receive food or weapons. Nothing. In that case, I'm sorry to tell you that you failed. The road is not the only way to transport goods. Many things are transported by sea. Listen, if what you told me is true, I fully understand why you're fighting. I'm even ready to help you clear up these disappearances. As long as you spare our merchants. You no longer need to worry about it. That was our last attack. Our troops are ready, and soon we will make the Luyan pay for the harm it has brought upon us. What are you talking about? Soon, the Donea Exrega will march together, and we will free our brothers. Can you guarantee that our merchants will now be able to take this road without risking their lives? I always keep to my word. The time for small attacks is over. Now is the time of war. I'm afraid you're heading straight into a massacre. But since you promised me that our caravans will be spared, I have fulfilled my mission. Go in peace. We should prepare ourselves. I am... so confused. Wait, like, there's, there's so many questions that I have. For example, if your people are being taken, you know, give me the opportunity to uh, see what's going on. Give me, give me a day, give me two days. No, you don't necessarily trust me or whatever. Give me an hour. <laughs> Let me try to figure out what's going on. No, I just, uh, I just wanted a different outcome than that, I guess. See, so we came from over here. I need to figure out what's over there. So I, I feel like I came from over here. Oh, yeah. Because that's where I did come from. Uh, I thought about, well, the the options that were given to me were very strange, but I thought maybe by leaving, they would give me the opportunity to come back later after having freed their people. Uh, after having freed their people. Sadly, that was not the case. Top dog over there. Those guys are not fine. I hope I will not regret letting them go. They are so full of hatred for the Alliance. The Donaya Exregal fought, as my mother did, to free our people from the lions. And now they are ready for a great battle. I hope they will not end up like my plan. I have to admit that the story of this attack is concerning. We should talk to Captain Reynold about it. We can also inform him that the convoys will now be running smoothly. Need you to heal me.
not gonna get this one back, am I? Guy's got some HP on him. ingredients that I'm getting from my own trap explosion. I'm getting pine resin. That's amazing. I thought that was the ingenuity or whatever coming into play. Uh, I feel like uh, we put ourselves in a done goofed situation by not attacking those locals. Sure, we're gonna get yelled at for that. Faster to walk, or is it faster? It's probably faster to go to this outpost camp. be mad at me. Also, let's uh let's do a hard save and mark here. I didn't mark an hour ago. You know, uh, I'm sorry about the cliffhanger. <laughs> 